Hey everyone, Aptroid Help here, and today I'm going to make a little video. It's not that little, it's 15 minutes. I'm going to make a video on what I think are my top apps for iOS browsers. Now, let's dive right in. First of all, as a side note, I guess, I would like you to all see that the screen in front of you, you can pause and click any of one of these apps presented before you, and it will automatically direct your uh, direct these apps to the home screen on iTunes. Now, don't worry, I'll give you a couple guys seconds to click it. And of course, guys, you don't have to pause the video right now. I'll also be showing the same screen at the end of the video. Guys, another thing to make note is that I won't be covering Safari in this video because the most probable reason you click this uh, video. Yeah, Slash tutorial is not to learn more about so of so Safari. You want to know about the other iOS browsers out there. So now I guess we have to jump right into the top ten, guys. See you later. Back uh, mobile, what uh, was browser for iPad? Now it is a really really nice. It is definitely takes on the style of Safari but with a boatload of more features, especially since Safari is so close, you can't do much with it. But this is absolutely the opposite. You can have actually change almost everything about anything about your actions or what gestures or tabs or how it opens. This is definitely, if you want to customize, this is definitely it. Not like team customize, but what happens. So also, it has, it has downloads, settings, which I told you it's very customizable, full screen browsing, and um, you can also say if you want to read page, read page later or read now. It has a reading list, and also if you have a readability account, it will all when you log in, it will automatically show all the things you haven't read there. Now. Um, so that's basically it. I mean, there's not much to say. You can, um, save page and download. You can save forms. You can fill out forms. You can, um, op you can open the same page in Safari. Um, although I don't know why would you do that. But you definitely, definitely, this is worth the money. Because it's free! And it really is it really really is one of the best browsers out there it's simple it's elegant it's sleek i really really love this browser i know a lot of you guys do too The browser that's truly puffing and huffing to be the fastest browser out there for iOS. Now, let's just give a quick tour. This is basically the home. You can change the wallpaper. You just make the access to your bookmarks. You can obviously rearrange these. You can add bookmarks. But, what makes this browser special is, first of all, it's loading speed. But I want to go to TechCrunch. And immediately, this, if you if you guys know, you can just type it between your device and use it on a different browser. And then compare this time to the Puffin browser. The Puffin browser loads at like a, me, a crazy amount fast rate compared to any other browser there out there. I really lo love that speed. And that's one of the reasons why this browser is one of the best browsers to go at speed, or if you want to have to look at the browser, I don't know, get a look at the website very quickly, and you have very little time. I don't know before you go up on a plane or something. Okay, I'm not going to shit sit out like a make a make a situation or something. But seriously, this is a really 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 fast um, browser. Another cool thing is this: you you can have a trackpad. Pretend I don't know why they put this in, but it's pretty cool. You have a trackpad. Um, I'll click this right here. Now, also, see, as you can see, that works completely. But also, this is of video flash player uh, capable of. So you can play anything with flash, anything that has flash, like this you can see right here, which I'm pointing to. This is flash right here. 
and so it's playing fine. So if it can play video flash, then it also can play games running in flash. So basically that's what this is for. I can play a game right now if I know a website for a flash video game, which I don't know really. So this is a fully equipped gamepad and it will change basis on the game. And I think that's really, really cool. I mean, I've never seen any other browser do this. I mean, this is a very, very, very cool browser. browser similar to Safari in many ways even by the layout this difference is not noticed immediately a terror browser offers offers full screen browsing a nice sleep interface similar to that of Safari for the settings you can also change what is your user agent it's similar it can so the basically what that does it tricks any tricks any website to tell what you what um program or device you're using therefore you can access desktop modes and it offers also a download section so if i were to download something in media fire or something like that it will also play, appear here something um other browsers are capable of but safari is it altogether this is an it's a great um it's a great browser on the whole I'm really f um a fan of the Safari interface, so I really like this browser. And as a plus, this is also a free app, so definitely check this out at this app on the App Store. This browser, the Mercury browser, is truly engineered for maximum funness. It's a fast, simple, and powerful web browser. For for iOS, it's free, and it has a many of different customization options, changing the wall, changing font size, changing brightness. You can make it. There are themes for it. Like, pretend my one of my favorites is light wood theme. There are, you can, also private browsing, um. So it will also protect you from cookies, and it will remember the history. You, there are some gestures. It does have odd block, always very helpful. It has full screen browsing. And a switch user agent, which basically means any website that usually doesn't allow a uh, iOS or mobile site to go into desktop, can now you can go into desktop version by tricking it right here under user agent and by the click of this switch I can change any website from a mobile website to a desktop website very very fun it's really a nice slick elegant uh, it's similar to Safari it has a mix of Safari and Chrome in it and a touch of Internet Explorer 2 definitely um, check out especially for its price free definitely head out on the App Store and get the uh, this app a very popular browser on PC and Mac has finally imported itself way bound to iOS now as you know this is a very well loved um, uh, browser with this nice clean interface direct access to Google search and what's nice is it syncs directly to your Google account so you come right off your PC or Mac you can immediately go to your iPad or whatever device and you can immediately see all your tabs open right on the spot also your bookmarks will be also synced there too really love this screen interface and it's just a lot of fun The Photon Browser for iPad. Now, what this offers is a full array of all Flash support. Now, that means video, that means video Flash, audio Flash, that means any website that you ever saw that horrible error. Flash, Adobe Flash, not supported. You must download it. Now it's possible with 
this very handy little browser photon now there are so many flash features that are there that I want to make this video short so I cannot put tell you mo all, most of all the features but basically what you do is you press this button and then you select which port you want to do in um flat about flash so basically it streams it to another um uh, uh computer and basically and it streams it back to your thing so that's why it gets it's pretty pretty fast and basically so you can you can go in video mode you can go to game flash mode and you can also go to web flash mode so i mean this this is definitely the best if you are looking for something to solve all your problem, mobile problems for the flash problem. This is 100% the app to get. Get. You can print with AirPrint, obviously. You can print this page with AirPrint. User agent. You can also change your, uh, cu you can customize the color. You can change the brightness. Rotation lock, pop, uh, you can stop pop ups from popping up on your screen. It's really, really, really the best browser to solve your flash problems. Web browser, a browser truly built for its functionality and power. Now, what does uh, the Atomic Web Browser offer? It offers browse. It offers so a multitude of features that I definitely cannot cover in this video. It, although it doesn't have this, the most beautiful interface you've ever done, but it has the most fu functionality than any other browser. It has downloads. It has air print. It has VJ out. It has brightness control. It has fa fa uh, fa font sizing changing. You can um hide uh. Uh, what do you call it? hide pictures? You can hide ads. You can hide um. You can do have color themes. You can also do a, like um, your private browser mode, which I can show you here. Identify browser ads, which will change your um, custom user agent, which I described already quite a multitude of times. Now, I don't know how exactly how to show you all this, all it offers. So I don't want to even start. But trust me, guys, if you want power and functionality and a absolutely great product, definitely check Atomic Browser out. It's only 99 cents. Definitely worth that money if you want power functionality. I do, and I use this browser a lot. So definitely check this out, guys. The coolest browser, Yahoo Access. Now, even though this is the coolest browser out there, why you might ask it's not my favorite, but Dolphin Brother browser is because this might feel a little cluttered at times, but it is definitely a very cool browser. First of all, it is in the Yahoo ecosystem, so Yahoo Mail, Yahoo Services, Yahoo News, they'll all be interconnected. Also, it it also identifies with Yahoo Search, and that is one of the coolest features. Now, pretend I wanted to search CNET. Now, all these results will not only show the website, but all will show me all the results of that web website. Maybe over the past thirty minutes, hour, so you can see everything they posted, all its sections. It's very pretty, a very very cool thing. It's it's it just really it just blows my mind. How does that? That's nothing compared. You can immediately just you don't have to search and look for the exact result. You also get a preview and information. So then I want to go. Oh, bandwidth meter, and I can see the picture of the preview, and I can also know about it right from there. Very very cool. Also. It's a nice tab, tab loading screen. And also, if you're synced with Yahoo, all your uh, bookmarks will be synced with it too. Similar to uh, Chrome. This, why, this is why, um, even though Yahoo Access comes to a close first, officially, it takes on the title of my second favorite browser. Very nice interface, which some other browsers do have. 
it has immediate access to bookmarks. Now that's one thing I love. If you're you don't have to be any go to a specific page to access your bookmarks. Anywhere you want to go, but if I'm in techcnet.com, I can immediately access Yahoo. I love that. You can add um you can add plugins. But one of my favorite things is you draw gestures. But I want to go to Google. It'll take me directly to Google by just clicking this. And now you can also create your own gestures. And say create gesture. But then I want to go to techcrunch.com. Next. And I want to create. I'll say this is my thing. Save. Now. Boom. TechCrunch. It's a very, very cool browser. And it truly is my favorite. You better definitely check this out on the App Store. And it's free. Hey everyone, Android Help. As you already know because you've been watching the video about like 16 minutes. Now, as you can see on the screen, you'll see all the apps that I showcased in this video. You just want to click that app to be redirected to that page, that apps page on the iTunes Store. So you can check out like the comments, ratings, screenshots, and price too. Now, also hit me up on Twitter. Um, not on Facebook, not much of a fan of that. But also hit me up on my website. Don't forget, join it's feel free to join in as a web member of my website i'm posting news article reviews and i'm also very doing ways to even watch free movies very cool stuff guys tots being posted all the time guys um hope you definitely check out all those stuff i know it's like a lot for you to handle with this brain capacity when you're focusing on all the stuff but just just do it now also be feel free to subscribe share and like of course it's free and i it will help me out tremendously if you subscribe share and like thank you guys for all your support i just want to say bye guys thank you